Kathalina here coming to you from Loan Sense. Um, today, this video is for lenders and loan officers specifically. I want to talk about the importance of um, videos in marketing. I'm sure you hear that a lot, but I want to give examples of how it's really, really worked for us, how we're helping, that's my pup in the background here, how we're helping expand the market for lenders. Um, and that's not just a belief we have, it's um, the number of borrowers who come through who have been previously declined by loan officers until they either find our digital content or find a lender who works with us. Um, and then I want to go through um, a IMB, an independent mortgage banker case study that we did um, by analyzing their turned down data and how much loan, how many loans we could have saved them. And I think that this is really, really important because um, with interest rates rising and people uh, not refinancing, it's really important that lenders and loan officers think about their pull through, right? Their ability to pull through loans. Um, so not just declining loans. I know right now I'm hearing from loan officers that they have to give out significantly more pre-approvals because of the market in order to close on a loan because there's multiple offers on a home. So we, of course, want to talk about strategies that we can help you with pull through because that's really important. So first and foremost, um, I want to talk about the borrowers we help that either find us through our digital channels or through lenders. The majority people being coming through do come through loan officers, um, but there are definitely people that find us through YouTube um, and our digital channels as well. I'd say mostly through educational video content. So if you're not creating educational video content to create connections with consumers, um, I'd highly encourage it, you to do that. I use um, this product called Loom. It's very easy. I just hit record and I virtually, they let you trim clips and stuff. I virtually add content like pretty much unedited just because I want it to be real. I plan what I'm going to say a little and then I just hit record. Um, and then I upload it to YouTube and I send out emails um, using similar content. So that's what I do. Um, and of course, you're welcome to use that strategy as well. I think it's really effective um, for borrowers. Like I know also, by the way, live webinars and live Q&As, weekly webinars, bi-weekly webinars, whatever it is. Um, if you have realtor agents like offering to do bi-weekly webinars for their clients is also effective. We've helped some loan officers do. So there's all types of methods to use video and to use webinar and education to, um, to speak to borrowers, right? So that's part one of the video. The second part I want to talk about are borrowers often come through our program who have been declined one, three, four times actually prior and um, what we are doing especially during the student loan payment pause is um, we are allowing them to enroll into a federal program based on their income kicking them into repayment so an example of a testimonial we just filmed on Friday with the borrower is um, his loan officer was using one percent seven hundred dollars he had seventy thousand of debt we lowered it to 126 he went from being disqualified by multiple lenders to now qualifying. He worked through our program. We talked with that loan officer. We helped him get the documentation for underwriting. He was able to close. And he closed um, right before this. He, I think he closed about eight months ago. That's why we asked him to do the testimonial because he's living in a house that's now like valued at, I think he's, I don't remember if he said it was like valued at like $100,000 more or something. And um, it would have been harder for him to afford essentially, right? So just relaying the news of like delaying a purchase could also be harmful, right? Um, especially if we can get your finances in order to afford one. And of course the biggest value prop he talked about was just knowing that your rent won't continually go up and he got a mortgage for around what he was paying for rent. So kudos to him um, before declining a consumer I highly recommend you, especially if the majority of their debt is student loans, there's high likelihood we're going to be able to adjust it. So now let me talk about what does that high likelihood mean in terms of actual numbers um, at an independent mortgage banker? Um, because independent mortgage bank, um, because that's really, really important 
Um, here's our case study. If you want this case study, uh, we will like eat. We, I was going to say we could link it, but um, I'm unsure if we can link it to the YouTube video. But what we could do is certainly, um, I'll, I'll put an email to request it if you want this case study. It's a, especially if um, you, if you work at a large broker or you work at an IMB and you want us to present your leadership with what your all's data is and what we can do to help pull through purchase or loans at your company, please um, let us know. We're happy to share this case study and we're happy to also do this analysis for your company specifically so that you and your leadership can understand out of, let's say a thousand declines a quarter, I'm just making that number up right now, this this mortgage banker had um, more declines, but let's say you do a thousand declines or um, yeah, a thousand declines or your, or your bars are struggling to reach affordability, like we can do the analysis on how many of those loans we can help you pull through, exactly how many of those loans and what would the uplift in your origination volume be in a year where people are going to struggle to meet their goals because we've had such a great last two years, right? So now here's the case study. Um, we helped this IMB specifically um, identify $315 million in 2021 that they declined, that they did not have to decline if they had worked with us and let us adjust the borrower student loans in 21 days. Okay, that's a huge amount, $315 million. How did we come up with that number? Here, let's talk through it. First of all, per quarter, this lender, let me just move this over. I don't know the optimal place to put this. Maybe I'll just make my face smaller. This lender denied in a quarter 300 3,421 loans. They declined this due to high DTI. I'm not saying all the declines. Um, and by the way, we're just studying the declines. We're not even talking about the people that we could have boosted purchase power by $70,000 to help the lender make a little more money, right? Um, I'm just talking about pure declines, okay? So if we can boost 315 million in the year from just declines, Imagine how much more we could have probably gotten over 400 million if they let us also work on a boosted affordability for those they did accept. Okay, so in a quarter, they they declined 3,421 loans due to high DTI. That is the humda reason, like um, that that have to do with DTI. There's multiple listed humda reasons, but essentially due to high DTI. 96% of all student loan borrowers fell in the decline reason under having too high of DTI. And our data showed that we could have lowered um, the payments for 65% of the people with student loan debt in this decline. By the way, in this pool of declines, there was about over 20% of high DTI declines were driven by student loan debt that could have been adjusted, okay? And the average boosted affordability for those we could have adjusted is $127,000, right? The potential loan uplift per quarter was almost $80 million, and that is what leads to the $315 million figure annually. So it's really, really important that, oh, by the way, uh, we don't even talk about the st statistic in here, but like 79% of people that had student debt, that had two out of student debt and was the reason for decline, could have had their um, their loan adjusted down, their student loan adjusted down by more than 50% of the payment, which means let's say your payment $700. We could have adjusted it down by more than $350 which would have helped significantly get that affordability number 127 we're seeing. So anyways, the point is here, student debt is the largest reason our generation is being delayed from buying a home, those under 40. Um, it's the number one reason in terms of reason for decline. It's also the driving reason people don't have the resources to save for a down payment. So we're solving significant problems um, that affect borrowers who are coming through your pipeline. If you need to, or if you need to give out three to five times more approval to close on one loan, why not be able to give out more approvals 
and approvals at higher amounts to help your borrowers compete. Not only that, but you as a lender can compete on increased affordability, not just interest rates. That is what LoanSense is here to help you do. Please invite us to a demo with your leadership. Come to a demo. We can show you how our product in under one minute, you can estimate the improved affordability for a borrower, pull them through our platform and let us do the rest of the work. We will do the work, make you the hero and help you originate more loans. It's not a question of, can we help you? It's a question of when will you get started so we can help you, right? These are federally mandated programs. It's the only form of debt that can be adjusted within 21 days, the closed loan cycle that has significant impact our average impact is almost $100,000, um, and we don't need to continue to, decline, continue to decline people whose loans could be originated, right? Additionally, people do ask, well, can this person do go um, and enroll in the federal programs themselves? Yes, they can, but they'll probably be gone for months on end trying to figure out how to do it, and, the, and a lot of people commit errors. Like, we could just save that problem. Like, let us help you pull your clients through. You literally estimate the improved affordability, invite them to Loan Sense, and we do the rest of the work. And when you invite them to Loan Sense, it's an automated tech process. We can show you. It's very easy. You enter their email, phone number. I'm going to leave a demo for another day. But the point is we've helped borrowers improve their affordability by, you know, like I said, an average of $100,000. We help educate you as the lender and the loan officer, and we help pull your customer through and they end up talking about this to their peers and they will refer you. So um, it's a very low cost, low lift way to originate more loans. And um, the consumer can pay for their own experience. We, we actually don't need to make, we don't make the majority of our revenue from lenders. So at the minimum, come to our daily lender call. We have one to two calls every single day. Um, with our sales team, I will put the link below. Um, if you want this case study, uh, we include the study methodology and, um, we can help do this analysis for your company. So, uh, please let us know if you have, if you have questions, our sales team cannot wait to speak to you on a lender call and, um, let us know if you want this case study, we will list the link for the demo as well as our email. Let us know any questions you may have. We're on standby, eager to answer it. Have a great day.